Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cody. I'm here today to share with you a story. Split personality. Yes, we all heard about the idea of split personality, but what you didn't know um, is that the movie Split is actually very much loosely based on a true story. Um, something very interesting from the movie Split is that you notice that when the guy turned into the 24th personality, known as the Beast, then he started to develop abilities that he didn't have, like crawling wall, super strength, and he started to grow the muscle, basically. This very idea is actually not too fictional at all, because that was what happened to a person who also has 24 personalities all in a single body, and that person's name is Billy Milligan. So here's the story. Imagine one day you wake up in the morning, you had your breakfast, you sit down on your sofa, you turn on the TV, suddenly you, you hear someone knocking on the door. You stand up and you go to the door, you peek through the hole, and then you realize that, oh, it's a pizza delivery guy. But wait, I didn't order pizza. Full of curiosity and you open the door, and the next thing you know is the guy peeing you on the floor, handcuff you and bring you back to police station. In fact, that was what happened to Billy Milligan. And he was so innocent that he basically didn't know what has he done. And he thought they must have recognized the wrong guy. So backtrack of the story a little bit. A couple of weeks before the arrest, there are three crimes happening in a short period of time. And all these three crimes are very, very similar. A guy found a victim, which is usually a woman, and he and then he will force a woman to take her car and drive to the bank, cash out some check, and basically he will rape her. That's right, robbery plus rape. The police actually thought that it's done by the same person, and the way the guy committed the crime was almost flawless as if he is professional criminal. The police eventually managed to find a fingerprint in the car, and that turned out to be Billy Milligan's fingerprint. So, why is Billy Milligan so famous? He's not like the first um, split personality patient in the United States. Back then, it was known as multiple personality disorder. Yes, I think so. And it was later changed to DID, which is more commonly known for right now. It stands for Dissociative Identity Disorder. As I mentioned, Billy was not the first person who has split personality, but um, he was the first in the United States history to be acquitted from the crimes that he committed under the reason of insanity. So back to the story of the arrest, basically the officer brought Billy onto, into the van. One thing that's very interesting is this. At some point, when Billy was being transferred from one place to the other, he was with the other criminal as well in the same van and they were both handcuffed real tight. And for some reason, when they arrived at the destination, the police opened the van and he realized that Billy was doing this. He's free. He looked at the criminal next to him, and the criminal basically said, this guy was real good. He got out of that real quick. I have no idea how he did that. So Billy, it's an escape artist. And because Billy has been switching between the different altars, as they will call it, so everyone who came in contact with Billy was basically very confused because like at one point he would be acting all like a kid and the other point he would be acting like a woman and then he would be acting like an English man. The police, the attorney, uh, the psychologists had in contact with Billy were basically all scratching their head, had no idea if this guy is faking it or he really has some serious mental issue. But on the escape artist part, I remember there was this part of the story where um, when Billy was brought into sort of like a jail room and one of his personally was super suicidal and he started to like banging on the wall and trying to kill himself. It is that time the security decided that he has to be restrained in a certain way so he would not commit suicide before the trial begins. And so they brought him a straight jacket. So he tied himself real tight and closed the door and only to come back to find out that Billy has once again escaped from a straight jacket and rolled it up put it under his head and use it as a pillow. Because Billy has been um, refusing to admit uh, that he committed those crimes, so at some point people are really suspecting and uh, thinking that maybe Billy really has some mental issue, he didn't remember some of the things he did. So they had a psychologist to see Billy and the psychologist has prepared like a long list of questions. And one of the first questions she asked is, what is your social security number? And Billy was like shrugging and he didn't know. So very quickly, the psychologist looked down to a series of number and asked him whether this is his security number. 
and he shook his head and said, no, that's not mine. It must be Billy's. And the psychologist was wondering, well, are you not Billy? Like, who am I talking to? And at this point, the same guy opened his mouth and said, I'm David. So being so curious, the psychologist asked, then where's Billy if you are David? And David said, Billy is asleep. Asleep where? And he pointed here and said, here, in the big guy named David, lives Billy who's sleeping. And um, the story is going to get more confusing from this point onwards. You only heard two names out of 24 characters for now. So the psychologist was curious. She probably had in her mind that she might be dealing with a multiple personality patient. And she studied the young man for a long while. His expression, uh, the way he acted, the way he talked was completely like a small little boy. Probably, you know, seven to eight years old. But still, the psychologist is half doubting, is this guy faking it or is this guy telling the truth? I have to speak to Billy, she said. And David said, you cannot talk to Billy because Billy is asleep and Arthur is the only person who can wake him up. Getting more confused, the psychologist goes like, who's Arthur? And David sort of explained that Arthur is a guy who's deciding who's coming to the spot. So I've seen some other YouTube videos on um, split personality as well. I, I noticed they always have this main personality that's like an organizer of all different personalities to decide who's like coming out all the time to talk to people. And this organizer is not necessarily the core personality at all time. So after months of investigation that the psychologist was able to get some other doctor's help and diagnose Billy as multiple personality disorder. So basically, the story of Billy was that he was born in a family that was already quite broken at the point of time. It's uh, both his parents' second marriage and the father, the, the birth father of Billy is a comedian and very depressed. So the father managed to kill himself a second attempt of suicide and that left the mom together with three kids. The mom decided that he has to remarry the other guy. So Billy was very much abused both physically and sexually by his stepfather. And along the way growing up, the core, the actual Billy realized that he has been losing time. As in, he would go to school and he would close his eyes and open his eyes, realize he's somewhere else at home again. And then he would close his eyes again and realize it's like, Another week has passed and he ended up with different things and people always kind of punish him for stuff that he didn't do. So one of the very first experiences where he splitted was actually when he turned into his first outer, which is uh, a little girl named Christine and Christine is from UK and has dyslexia. So Christine at home one day was taking some sort of color pencil to start like doodling on the wall. And when the mom realized what mom was, the mom was furious and she ran to Billy which was Christine, and she started grabbing him, shake him, and yelling at her. And what she didn't know is that when she was doing that, it's no longer Christine. It's back to original Billy. So Billy was like, what? I didn't do anything. Why? How did I, how did I deserve this, right? So growing up, he already has symptoms of like split personality way before he met um, his stepfather. But it was one incident that Billy described that he would never forget that completely destroyed Billy and started to develop more personalities as he grew up. It was when he was about eight years old, he realized one day um, he was watching TV at home with his stepfather. And when he turned over and accidentally saw that the stepfather started scanning through his entire body with a very creepy look, he got a sense of chill. He had no idea. He felt very uncomfortable. So he went and hide in a room. The next day, same thing happened. And it's on that afternoon, the stepfather asked Billy to go to the farm owned by the family together with him. And he drove his truck all the way into the garage, closed the door. And there was a time when he was first sexually abused by the stepfather. Now, to develop a mechanism to cope with the pain and the humiliation, Billy basically closed his eyes, spaced out, and David was born at a point of time. David is a keeper of pain, and it was when every time someone is to suffer physical pain, David will come up, absorb all, so the normal Billy can live the rest of his life without the experience. And every time when a stepfather brought him to the farm, he will always threaten that you cannot tell this to your mom, otherwise I'll dig a hole, bury you alive, and tell your mother that you hate her so much that you run away from the family. No one will ever remember you. And at some point, the, the stepfather really actually dig a hole and tried to bury Billy alive. He gave Billy a pipe 
to hold on to his mouth, he was only left with the pipe to breathe for quite a while. And the worst thing is the stepfather will pee right straight into the pipe. That's right, that's worse than an animal. And that was when Danny was born. So since then, Danny, the personality, is so afraid of earth and soil that he has phobia towards men as well. So there are two particular characters that are super important to Billy and also were responsible for a lot of Billy lost time. Now the first character is the organizer Arthur. So Arthur is a smart upper class British. So basically every time he opened his mouth, he was speaking this upper class British accent that People know that even the greatest actor in the world will find it hard to imitate. It's just as if he's a guy from England and that's all. And Arthur IQ is 130 and he spoke exactly like Sherlock Holmes. The other character is Reagan. Reagan is basically another dominating character who also has power to decide who to come on the spot and steal the light. The difference between Arthur and Reagan is that Arthur take charge of the usual time while Reagan will take charge of every time that he feels like there is some actual danger threatening the life of Billy. At the year when he was 16 years old, he decided he cannot cope with this anymore. He was so depressed because every time he woke up, he would end up in a different spot and he didn't know what happened. At first, he assumed it happened to everybody. Then he realized that he's the only odd one. And sometimes in school, he would score super well because Arthur is there and Arthur is all intelligent. And the other time, he would just cause a lot of trouble because Reagan is there and Reagan is extremely violent. And it was in that year, Billy has decided that he wants to take his own life. He goes to the rooftop of the school and take a few steps back and started running. And when he was about ready to jump off the building, Reagan took his body and smashed himself onto the floor and Reagan saved Billy. Reagan and Arthur has since then decided that Billy is not in a good condition and every time he's not asleep, it's dangerous for everybody else living in the body. And so they decided to put him to sleep forever and never wake him up. So during the entire period when Billy was in custody, he has been seeing different psychologists and doctors at the same time too. At first, everybody thought that there were only 10 of them. It was until one night, Billy looked all angry and take a piece of paper and bring it to the table of the doctor, smash it on it and told the doctor that there are more. The doctor didn't understand. He was just reading a list of names that he has never heard of. And the doctor later learned that the guy who gave the piece of paper, his name was Phil, which is Philip. And one of the rape victims actually mentioned the name Phil. So Phil actually appeared during the crime time. So while the doctor was piecing all these missing pieces together, the trial had to go on. Billy was called upon a court and being proven by renowned psychologists in the country that Billy in fact cannot be judged guilty because of his insanity. That at the time when he was committing the crime, he was in fact not stable and therefore he didn't know what is right or wrong. Now, because he was the first person ever acquitted from the crimes that he did, he straight away became the headlines of the news the next day. At the time, because split personality wasn't really like a thing thing, there, there were some cases, but people generally are still quite skeptical. So there are half of people who really believe in Billy. The other half of people were really criticizing the doctors and the attorney and even Billy that he was just faking it and trying to get away with crimes he committed. So Billy was sent to mental health institute and be observed and be treated. So the objective of the doctor was basically to try to fuse all his personalities into one. Now, when the doctor first received the remaining names of Billy, he was so nervous. He called for an impromptu session with Billy and have him to sit down while he started to record everything that was happening. While he was speaking to one Billy to the other Billy, he was trying to bridge the gap between their knowledge and introduce themselves to each other so, so he could fuse all the personalities together. And at last, he confronted the core Billy letting Billy know for the first time ever that he indeed has split personalities and that's the reason that he lost those times. Billy was super skeptical but because the doctor was recording everything, when he played back the videotape for Billy, Billy was in shock and Billy started to walk the long corridor and went to the living room of the institute and sat there. At that particular moment, 
a new personality was formed. Well, it wasn't really clear that whether this personality was always there or it was just being shaped at a point of time. Now, this personality is the only personality out of the 24 personalities that doesn't have a name. And everybody calls him the teacher. And the teacher is the first and only complete Billy who remembers every single thing that happened, even including his very first memory when he was one month old and he had something in his throat that almost took his life. So fast forwarding the story, what many people didn't know is that that is not the happy ending of Billy Milligan's story. Actually, even after he was acquitted, he was supposed to be treated with Dr. Cole, who was a doctor that fused him completely until he's stable enough and to get back in the world again and start living a normal life. But here's the thing, the, the power of media was already so established back then that the media turned the whole situation around and that basically was very counterproductive with the work that Billy has done. So with all the stress and pressure from the media and overwhelming attention and people calling him rapist and there was one time when he was granted like a day off from the mental institute and he was free to go on the street to walk and he realized that there were two guys tailing him at the back and when he was on the main street, the guy pulled out a gun, yelled his last name, Milligan! and start shooting at him. And it was in that moment, teacher diffused and got so shocked and stared, and Reagan came in and saved them by dodging three bullets. So after a lot of therapies and also sessions with the teacher, people were finally able to piece together what happened to the three crimes that Billy or his personality committed. So, so I draw a simple chart because it was all confusing. So this is what actually happened. On the crime day, Billy started the day as Reagan because Reagan was all violent and he was the only person who was allowed to use a gun. So Reagan decided that he has to go out and rob somebody because they needed to pay the bills and also to buy food. So Reagan would load his gun and he would jog about 11 miles to the campus area and he would start looking for a victim. And when he found a victim, the other personality stole the time. And that personality was the real criminal who raped the girls. And her name was, yes, her name was Adelana. Adelana is one of the three female personalities who are inside Billy. And she's a lesbian. And that explained. And Adelana actually forced the woman to go to the bank and to cash out some money too. It's just that she's done it in a nice way. And once Adelana got the money and raped the girl, nicely she would disappear and reagan would come back again by then reagan came back he realized that he already has cash in his hand so he thought he must have done the work so reagan would go back to sleep and then in the next morning arthur woke up in the body and arthur saw the cash and arthur thought great let's pay the bills and do some groceries and the next day again reagan woke up wanted to pay the bills with the money only to realize that the money that he got was already gone he was furious, he thought in order to pay bills and survive and protect the rest of the people in the family, he has to go out and rob again. And that process repeats like three different times and that was how he ended up being caught by the police. And so in short, there were a lot of dramas happening right after Billy was acquitted from the crimes that he did and because of the media and those people who think Billy was faking it, he was transferred from doctors to doctors, from institute to institute with highest level of security. And there were people criticizing him in those institutes as well. He was constantly facing bullies and beaten up and being jumped on by all these people. There were even a few doctors that were treating Billy, did not even believe themselves that Billy is indeed a patient of multi-personality disorder. So after a big part of his life being spent in mental institutes, finally in 1988, Billy was completely fused and the court had decided that he can finally live a normal human being's life. But it's interesting to know that the fused Billy indeed wasn't so Billy, it was more of the teacher because the teacher was the only person that has all the memories in his entire life. So after he went on to live his life, he moved to California to work on a movie of his own life. And it was that time people like the director of Titanic, Batman Forever, and also Leonardo DiCaprio were all reported to be involved at various points when the movie was in the making. It's just that until today, the movie never really made it to the world. 
It was also said that Billy has dedicated part of his work that he wanted to reveal all the unfair treatments of mental institutes in America. In 2014, Billy passed away at the age of 59 years old. And according to Billy's sister, who said that it was the final five years of Billy's life that he really lived peacefully and quietly. Well, even though he was really like fused into one person at the end, there was someone who interviewed Billy at his later age, asked the question that all your voices and all the other person's personalities, were they gone? And Billy revealed that they were always there. It's just that he now has the control to decide to stay fused instead of letting them run his life. So I guess it sounds a bit like we all, in a way, have multiple personalities and identity as well it's just that we are able to control them and when we lose one to another like for example turning from a calm person suddenly to be agitated or even like mad about something that shift of that personality basically happened to all of us it's just that the only difference that differentiate us from people who suffer from multiple personality is that we kept those memories. We we didn't have amnesia when that happened. So that's the story of Billy Milligan. Do you believe that Billy really has all the 24 personalities and has suffered an incredibly tough life? Or you think that Billy has been faking his entire life just to get away with some conventional punishment from the crimes he committed? And that he, at the same time, is also a superb actor probably better than Leonardo DiCaprio himself. So let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.